Hi all, this is Poet Spice Bibliosgribe and I am here to do a video for Preptober. I know it's been a long time since I've done a video actually on my writing channel. <coughs> and it's kind of weird because I get into these massive crafting, I'm gonna craft and make everything. And so my writing tends to get pushed aside, which I really need to change for now and then all the way to infinity, really. <laughs> because, you know, writing is that hard thing that you like to do. It's sort of like if you like exercising, running a five mile race or whatever, it's hard work, but you may like to do it. Now, personally, I don't like to run. Um, sorry, but you know, when you have a larger booby size, running's not so fun. <laughs> But anyway, so yes, writing has been put on the back burner and I keep doing that and I keep doing that and I need to stop doing that, which is one of the reasons why I love National Novel Writing Month and <clears throat> it really forces me to actually sit down, take that time and actually write. Um, I know some people are like, well, we don't like NaNo because it's this fake thing and it only makes you write in a month. But, you know, if it gets me to write in that month, good. You know, any piece of word, any word sentence you get down, there you go. And sometimes, you know, it carries over. So I realized that today was October 1st and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. This is all the whole Preptober month. And I saw some Inktober videos and I was like, yeah, we need to get it together because we want something to write for Nano. So what I thought I would show you today as my first Preptober video is basically what I have going for like my planning and my collection of things. So as you see, I got on the Happy Planner bandwagon because of Heart Breathing's channel. Now I'll try to remember to link her channel below and Natalia Lee's and Kristen, I want to say Martin. Yeah, Kristen Martin their their channels for writing and so forth because I have some stuff that I'm using of theirs but heart breathings who is Sarah she talked about how she altered her happy planner to use it as a writing kind of planner and I thought that was pretty good um, as you know with my junk journaling and my TNs I've been doing a whole lot of stuff of you know trying to find the perfect system for what I like to do move things around and so forth so when she said that I finally got on the happy bed happy player bandwagon. wagon I bought this old 2017-18 one and then I bought a smaller one which I'm using for like my food diary and my actual planner so this is what I've done so far. I've got this cover. These were the original covers and I think I'm going to change this because this is not inspiring me to write at all. These are my favorite colors here, but this is like, yeah, it's not inspiring me to write. <laughs> right. So I went ahead and took out all that extra junk from the front and I put the 2017 stuff here in the back. Okay. So then it left me with October, November, December of 2018 and then I would figured I will go back and use these as other sections okay so I started with October I've got the calendar for here this is like I said the big happy planner so the 2018 calendar and these colors are not inspiring me to write either so I'm going to go through and put some little decorations or something on it and maybe some stickers or something to get that interest going for me and then I left these pages. I normally don't do weeklies, but I thought maybe if I kept the weekly pages and I had some little ideas or something that I could write it in there or just use it to doodle or brainstorm or whatever, and then I can just change it. So I left all the weekly pages for the month of October. Okay, then in November, I've got the calendar and what I plan on doing here is actually keeping a word count as well as a reward sticker because um yeah I'm 45 and I like stickers so there's that <clears throat> so I'm gonna be using this as the catch-all plan all for my novel and it's it's pretty big and kind of heavy so I don't think I'll be taking this anywhere unless I take out like half of these pages okay but I figured it would work for home the other thing I did was print out the workbooks from the three different people that I mentioned. Um, Kristen Martin, she has a link up on her video. I think it's a very recent video. I just watched it today about 
plotting your novel, excuse me, I didn't mean to move that thing, about plotting your novel, and it was a free download from subscribing to her, um, her page. So I went ahead and downloaded that. So that is going to be there. And I know that they're going to repeat some things and so forth like that, but sometimes what gets me inspired is a different outlook or a different way that somebody has actually written a page down or a planner down. So that I thought that might help, or just even the way somebody words stuff can help. Okay. This one is Sarah's from Heart Breathing. So you can see where it says heartbreathings.com. She has her YouTube channel. It says Plot Your Novel. And I printed her pages. And so you can see how hers are a little bit different. And then there is a list of references that she has back here on writing. And some of these I've actually purchased. So that's another thing that um, I want to be doing in October. And then this is Natalia Lee's workbook from 2017 now she has a new one out that's longer but i figured since i have these other two and this one i probably don't need to go buy 20 million more but so i went ahead and printed her 2017 one out again and all i'm going to do is take those and hole punch them with the happy planner punch <laughs> and i'm going to stick them probably right behind the october um calendar I think I'm gonna stick it here instead of at the end of the calendar but we shall see we shall see how that goes I wish they had put like a blank page for notes on the back of this so then you could just start the calendar another page over but that's not how they designed it <laughs> So those are the pieces that I'm going to do for my Preptober. Um, try to get something. I am not a planner. Um, and so I wanted to try maybe doing a little bit more planning this time or gathering or whatever. The problem is I have absolutely no ideas. I know what I'm going to end up probably writing is in that like paranormal um, powers, angels, demons, Christian element kind of thing because I tend to write that a lot um gothic -y kind of stuff but I have no idea of the story that I want to write because um several of the things that I have all are going with this one book that I have written parts of it written and I haven't finished it and then I have the one I did last year for Camp Nano and it's partially finished and it's more like a saga as well. So both of the books that I have that are in process, I found that they need to be these big, longer series um, instead of just one novel. So I'm not quite sure what to do with that. So I want to start something else, maybe get excited about something else. And I don't know. So if you have any ideas or suggestions, um, yeah. You can leave those in the comments below. I thank you for watching. If you would share this video, that would be awesome. And I'm going to try to do a video. I don't know. I'm going to try to do a video every day in October on this channel. And we shall see how that goes. All right. Thanks for watching. And I shall see you tomorrow, hopefully, for another Preptober video. Thanks. Bye.